Hi guys and welcome to Cyber Warrior YouTube channel and this is our first video on HTML. Basically this video is for those who have a basic knowledge of HTML. So if you guys like this video, please like this video after watching the video and subscribe to our channel and comment. So today we are here to make a sign up form like this. The design will be this kind and how to make the form the input text boxes one after another at a single line. As you can see that this is parallel. So we will create this form using only HTML not a single CSS. Okay. So we will create using HTML from beginning to advance. So first of all, we need to open our notepad or notepad plus plus depending upon your computer what you have. If you have notepad, open notepad. If you have notepad plus plus, just open notepad plus plus. So. So just start the HTML tag, head tag, title, just give any title here, right? Like uh, sign up form. Then the tag which has been started at the last will needs to be closed first. Then head will be closed. So go to file and select save as just give the path where you want to save the file and let us name as form.html and from here select all types and save it then we need to start a body tag then we will create a form first of all we need to save that document and just open and browse it how it looks like so here is our document and as you can see we have given the title as sign up form the sign up form title is displaying here right so we need to create a form which looks like this what we have is a label and a text box right so first of all we will create a label for label we need to write here first first name just save it and check it out so we have first name here after this we need a text box for this we need to create an input type input type is equals to text and save it control plus s after reloading we can see that here is an input type in which we can type a value so next we need is last name so type here last name and control plus as s to save so we have last name here but we want the last name in the next, next line so here we will start a br tag which means break line so last name will be put on the next line and again we need a text box for this we will create a input type of text and save it so we have last name here and what we need is email address password and confirm password so we will again add a br tag for the next line email address and an input type input type is equals to text just save it by pressing control plus s and reload it so we have an email address field 
नेक्स्ट वी नीड इज अगेन बी आर एंड अ पासवर्ड देन इनपुट टाइप ओके एंड नेक्स्ट वी नीड इज कंफर्म पासवर्ड एंड अगेन इनपुट टाइप ओके सो जस्ट सेव द डॉक्यूमेंट बाय प्रेसिंग कंट्रोल प्लस एस एंड रीलोड सो वी हैव फर्स्ट नेम लास्ट नेम ईमेल एड्रेस पासवर्ड एंड कंफर्म पासवर्ड देन व्हाट नेक्स्ट जेंडर ओके सो हेयर we will write a br for the next line and gender then again we need input type now here is a difference if we need an input type like this this is a circle right and if we write input type is equals to text this is not a circle so we want a circle and the name for creating that input type is radio so we need to write radio and here we have a radio field so after radio just write mail and save it reload the web browser and check we have mail just after the radio button then we need to create a female so here we will create another input type of type radio and write female just after it save it and reload it so we have created almost our 90% of html form then we need a submit button so go to the next line and type br for the line break and here again we need a input type submit button input type is equals to submit just save the document and reload the browser so we have a submit button but as you can see that there is a lot of difference in this form and in this form okay so let me make it visible to you all in two different windows see here we have all the text boxes in a parallel line all the first name last name in a parallel line buttons align perfectly center and all but here we don't have that much facilities because the spelling of first name f i r s t n a m e it's approximately 9 characters and last name it's approximately 8 characters only so because of limitations of characters and as you can see the spelling of email addresses more than others and confirm password also that's why the text field will start just after the characters so what we need to create is we will make a table and we will create all the fields inside the table so just we will convert just this document into the format of table for this we need to create a table and table border is equals to 3 you can put any value ranging from 1 to 7 or 100 in this so a table consist of table row and table data first of all we need our first row and our first data just save it reload it so we have it then first name will be put on first td and the input type will needs to be putted in the second td like this 
similarly after one row we need to close the td and needs to close the tr and because we are using tables no need to write br tag for new line we will start a table row for the new line by using the table tag so what we need to do is here we have closed td and tr so next we need to start again new row and new table data in this td we will store only last name and in next td we will store the input type just save the document and reload so we have first name and input type last name and input type okay so after this we need to close the td and needs to close the tr then for email address we need to start a tr so that it should come on the next row and one td in this td only email address will be stored so for the input type we need to start a new td that is table data and tr means table row so we have first name last name email address and similarly same for all of this so here we will close the td and table row then we need to start a new table row and a new table data password will be stored in this td and a new table data will needs to be started here here close the table data and close the table row just control plus s to save the document and reload so we have a parallel drawn all the input types and the labels similarly we will do for the all the above or the below right so we need here tr we need a table data before input tag we need a table data and so on so here needs to close td and needs to close tr after that needs to start and table row and table data and here we need another td just save this by pressing control plus s and so almost done what we need is submit button in the next line for this we will close here our table data and close our table row then here we will start a new table row and a new table data so done so almost we have it then what we do is we will align the table in the center so we will type align tag a l i g n align is equals to center then save it and refresh once all the work is done we need to remove the border so it should look nice see as you can see is all the text fields are in a parallel line so what's next what we need to do is this kind of background this is our first tutorial this is very 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 basic tutorial in our next tutorial we will make you aware of how to create this kind of background image by your own currently i have my screenshot so i will use my screenshot for the background in our next tutorial we will make some advanced changes in this form and create the same background by our own so in my folder i have this bg so i will put here a background in my body so name of the pic is bg and type is jpg so just save by pressing control plus s and reload so almost done right so 
guys i hope that you have liked this video if you like the video just press the like button and comments if you have some of your doubts so in the next video we will go for advanced techniques like how to make the these colors white how to align this button in the center then how to write sign up form and much more how to add spaces so in the next tutorial we will discuss the further settings and attributes and tag so thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe